going to be the favorite costume for Halloween. But anyway, <laughs> it's time now for this week's Fab Mom on Two. And this week we're talking about the power of play. In less than one week, this video went viral. It has made Chewbacca, Mom, a household name. It even landed Candace Payne on the Late Late Show with James Horton. And she got to meet Chewbacca at the Facebook campus in Silicon Valley. And we want to know why the video is such a big hit. So, joining us is parenting lifestyle expert Jill Simonian. <laughs> She's here with some answers that involve the power of I know, as though we all haven't seen this video enough already, and you know, it's like we're laughing watching it again and again, but my personal theory is that that video with Candace laughing and laughing and laughing tapped into something that leads me to believe that as parents and families and people, I mean, we are craving more joy, and there's wow, something like to be said for the power of play. It's interesting because there's been a series of studies actually in the last few years that have indicated that high school students are now seeking twice as much mental help hmm. than they did in the 1980s. And a lot of psychologists are saying that it's because we do not have enough play in our lives as kids and adults. Okay, so we're not yeah. talking about, obviously, um, not, not video games, not that type of play. Right. I think you're talking about the type of play that um, kids can get involved in yes. and their parents can get involved in as well. Active play. Active, active play. play. Yeah. Okay. Something like Paul and I do. Exactly. On a, you on guys a daily do it. Basis. I've seen you all do it behind the scenes. You're dancing. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Jill. Going into Memorial Day weekend yeah. in summer, you're saying that we should use this summer to play more for our health. I have no problem yes, with that. Yes, play. I know. See, I knew this would be right up your alley. Mm -hmm. Use this weekend, I say, as a launch pad to, you know, get your kids to play more. And the number one thing that a lot of psychologists through my research have suggested is to let your kids have free play without intervention because free play yeah. I mean since you know look at the schools now since mm -hmm. 1955 there's been a drastic decline in recess time lunch time etc because we have you know more pressures we have to teach to right. the test and so forth right. but kids when they play free without intervention they learn confidence they learn creativity that's how they communicate that's how they connect with each other and with their parents so resist turning down the opportunity to play with your kids if they invite you because that's how they learn for brain and emotional development okay now your next tip yeah. is to aim for what well, you said 20 minutes of play for no yourself 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 yes. every day yes we need to be like candace right <laughs> i want to see you in the chewbacca mask. no i'm kidding uh, <laughs> i'll aim do for... it <laughs> you will i do a good chewbacca without the mask but let's move on <laughs> i really do but anyway <laughs> Aim for 20 minutes. See, this is we're having fun now. <laughs> Aim for 20 minutes of play for yourself because adults need it too. We know right. that joy releases endorphins, which does boost yeah. our overall health. We've heard, you know, we've seen and read all the scientific research. Um, and in fact, there's this new book that is coming out in the next few weeks. I'm so excited about it. It's called Well Played. It's by an LA author, Meredith Sinclair. She talks about uh, putting 20 minutes of play for yourself throughout your day in short spurts. Playing, uh, you know, like playing a word game with your kids during breakfast, doodling your to-do list, things like that, things that really help you out for, okay. uh, you know, to, to add joy to your day. All right, we got that one, but you have one last tip. Yes. Get your spouse involved. Yes, get your <laughs> spouse involved, get your family involved, get your friends involved. Involve as many people as you can. And one of the, and something else that's brand new that launched recently is a new app called City Moms. Mm -hmm. And it's exclusive to LA, and it gives you this you know, alternative, unconventional, fun list of things to do around town. So if you tap into that, it's going to give you out-of-the-box ideas to have a good time. Oh, my goodness, yes. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for that, uh, Jill. Jill, in fact, will have more on the power yeah. of play on our website, cbsla.com. Okay, we're having some playful <laughs> moments here in the studio. Stop the goofing around, around everyone. Just, no. Yeah, backed up to another camera. But Paul can take us out of here. We play well, right, we Paul? We do. We do. We have uh, cameras smashing into each other. I, we should probably put on helmets. <laughs>